Careful. Go. Careful. Well, that one needs to be fixed. Hey guys, here up at the cottage. We opened up this weekend. Uh, I guess I was up a few weeks ago, as you guys saw that part where I uh, came up and did some, I think I showed you that. Came up and did some leaf blowing and uh, did the whole front from the septic system all along the back because the wind was blowing this way. It kind of sucks when the wind is coming from the lake this way and blows this way this is a great spot down this way to blow all of our leaves from the gar the lawn down but because the wind was blowing so strongly this way as soon as you blew the leaves that way they would just fly up in the air and go over your head and you're like ah oh. so you have to go with the wind and that was the only option i had that day so i started blowing had to blow all the leaves from the lawn across the whole back again accumulating more and more and more leaves down by the wendy house and then down this way and then push them there's a nice big area between us and the next door neighbors um just to put all the leaves and uh, then they just get matted down over the next couple rainfalls we'll get and it won't be as heapy as it is um but and then i and then i got half of this done to about to about the stairs and then uh as i had the headphones on and of course i have this big backpack leaf blower on which is very noisy and i have my headphones on but i heard this rumble and it was like slightly like misty kind of raining and uh but i heard this rumble i'm like what was that so i took my headphones off and i also I also saw like a flash like somebody took a picture I'm like, okay, it's starting to lightning and thunder. So I am done with that. So I left and it's been like two weeks. Uh, we came up yesterday. Uh, sorry, we came up Friday night and uh, worked all day yesterday. I uh, blew all the rest of the leaves from this way all the way over. And so the gardens all look nice. I just need to have the annuals or the perennials, perennials uh, planted in there just to uh, give it some color um uh, we brought down the chairs they were stored in the wendy house for the winter um this boat both of these boats need fixing and uh, it's got to find the right person to be able to fix fiberglass i'm not very good at fixing fiberglass so i'd rather just pay somebody to do that our property line is over by the white stick with the green on top over there so blowing our leaves to that is perfectly fine um the rock dock the water level is a little bit high uh at this time of the year it's usually higher but uh we've got to fix our dock those cribs there's three of them they're metal cages and we filled them with rock didn't think it would ever move and they used to be at the front of the dock they used to be here and uh, that's what the ice does it uh huge sheet of ice imagine a huge sheet of ice weighing i don't know hundreds of thousands of pounds being blown by the wind and just pushes over the, the course of like 20 years it's pushed it from there to there so it's it's held up and then it's also driven it up into the shore because i think that used to be definitely out further and uh because it's definitely pushed up one of our stairs um we're gonna try to level it lifting it up more because i don't think we could ever pull that out from the shore um yeah i have no idea how you would do that so we're going to i would love to lift the dock up take all the stuff out from underneath put two new cribs in there and uh be done with that and then get a floating dock uh, ben's coming up this week i believe to help me uh put the dock in i can do it myself but it's definitely definitely more fun and easier uh, when you have your kids helping out 
Um, so yeah, so the rock dock. My dad built this 30 years ago, 40 years ago. And uh, I've been maintaining it since he's been gone. Um, my dad passed away in 2006. So it's been my duty since then to just make sure that the rocks don't move when people walk from this spot to this spot. I'm hoping that wind's not too bad for you guys. But uh, yeah, usually this is underwater um, at this time of the year. And you can see some minnows down in there. But uh, usually the by the summertime, the water's down to that next little lo level there. And uh, so it's only about six inches, maybe a foot high at the moment. So it takes a while for the lake to drain, which is down that way. There's a river. But uh, yeah, this is this is my favorite place on the planet. Uh, I've been coming up here since I was born. My the story goes, <laughs> I think I've talked to you, but very slippery. Holy whoa, whoa! Don't step on the green stuff. What? Yay! 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 Um. So that cottage that is there, it's the mansion now. Um, my nana and granddad, my mom's parents, used to rent. Let's see if I can point. Uh, where is it? There it is. I think I'm think I'm pointing at the right spot. So there's a there's a houseboat with a door open, and they used to rent that back in the early '60s. And uh, in 1966, when they were renting it, uh, sorry, 1965, when they were renting it in the summer. They, my granddad saw that they were um, getting all this property all divided up and uh, for sale and so he bought two properties over there oh the one that waved and went right over my shoe these are my crappy shoes anyway so I guess no big deal so he bought two properties and built his cottage right it was a viceroy uh, built it right on the on the uh, property line and uh, so he owns both properties. And then when I was about seven years old, this cottage uh, came up for sale. My parents bought it for, I think $9,500 back in 1974, I believe. Uh, but it didn't, wasn't this shape. It was much smaller, didn't have the deck on it or anything. It was, and it was, apparently it was a carpenter who uh, was building it. And he would, I guess, get supply. When he would build somebody's place, there'd be all the leftovers and so he built the cottage with like leftovers it seemed and the cottage was crooked he wasn't a very good contractor uh there was just so many problems with it that my parents had to pay people to come in and lift the cottage up and level it properly and uh there's so many piers underneath that cottage it shouldn't go anywhere <laughs> unless we had a huge earthquake then it would definitely topple but uh yeah so this was the opening weekend. I'd love to have come up a couple weekends ago, but we've been helping Carol's parents. And uh, we also have to be careful. If you come up too early and you turn the water on, because the pipes are like underneath the open space under the cottage, if it still hits minus, uh, like in the zero or colder, it can freeze and break your pipes and stuff. So that's why we don't come up earlier. Um, it is possible to winterize it, but then you have to bring all the pipes up inside the house. And then it costs money to keep it warm when you're not there. So it, it, the way we've been doing it for the last, what, 47 years, uh, that's just the way we've been doing it. It's, it's our summer cottage. Again, we try to come up as early as possible. I like to come up uh, in April, like the very end of April, because then the uh, all the plants and stuff haven't started growing up through the leaves that have fallen. Uh, let's see if we can make it back without dying. Okay, careful. Whoa, careful. Well, that one needs to be fixed. The, the winter wrecks this every year, so I haven't tweaked it yet. Made it across safe and sound. Uh, so what I was saying is that, again, my parents bought this place for like $9,500, fixed it up, and uh, apparently there's two or three cottages over from here, and uh, I think they're trying to sell for $750,000, so that's a pretty good investment. Uh, buying something for $9,000, wait 47 years, and then you could sell it for 
750 plus. So this Wednesday is my uh, channel members uh, broadcast. Uh, it is possible if I can get Ben to come up Wednesday, then I could do my broadcast from the cottage. I just don't trust the internet up here. It's the cell service is kind of wacky. Sometimes if you're just on the deck, it's not bad, but uh, it is possible we can come up Wednesday. If not, uh, we'll do the, the, the members only for KBD Productions TV. We'll do the members only live show uh, Wednesday uh, 4 to 5. And either we come up Wednesday night, depending on Ben's schedule, uh, we we'll might even come up Thursday and I might even bring, get Paul to come and help uh, if he's available. And uh, so, and then, you know, three guys working on that is super easy and, and definitely uh, not as difficult uh, when you're doing it by yourself. I've been collecting sticks. The leaf blower doesn't like blowing sticks very well. So unless it gets caught up in the leaves then sometimes it will take it, but I'm just walking around the property, picking up any of the twigs, throwing them in here for the first bonfire we have. We are allowed to burn at Nighttime, not allowed to burn during the day without a permit. Just to uh, make sure no forest fires happen. Um, yeah, so I, I look forward to uh, vlogging up here with Ben. I'm hoping you guys stick around for that. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a Carol and a Sam. Rare sightings at the cottage. Why aren't you working? Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, so we, um, when we got up here, my mom and my sister got up here f f quite a few hours before us and uh, they got some of the things done and then when Carol and I showed up, we got all the outdoor furniture and the, um, I think my sister and my mom got the barbecue out because it was right in the way of one of the doors. So they took that out and then Carol and I did all the rest because they were pooped from doing all the other cleaning uh, that it takes to get a cottage ready for usage. So again, all of our beautiful um, Muskoka chairs were all inside. All this stuff was inside the, the main living room area. Even all this stuff was inside. It just prolongs the, uh, the wear and tear. If you leave it out here in the winter, it just gets beat up big time. So, and then sometimes when we have like a really big snowfall, we have to pay people to come and shovel off the roof. And chances are whatever is closest to this edge will just come down here and, and would wreck everything. So it's just best to put it all away and maintain. These will last so much longer. I'm so glad my mom got these. Uh, I bought four for my house as well. Uh, if you guys remember that vlog, but uh, these are just great super comfy to to sit in my sister just donated these chairs so these were our old chairs uh they're we're still going to be using these chairs um but we've put two of them down there plus those metal chairs and uh but these new ones um i think my cousin owned these first and then gave it to my niece my niece moved and uh now they're ours so uh they're much nicer looking chairs than those they got the nice cushions the, the lumbar cushion like that just a nice little design uh, my sister could only bring up two because her car uh, just couldn't take more than two of these chairs just did some cleaning we got the entertainment system all set up we don't leave this stuff here in the winter time it's just people could break in when you're not here for some six months or whatever so uh, I actually stayed here as you guys know for a little bit longer um, because I was working with Carl and uh, it was just a great two weeks living here uh, for at least three or four days at a time uh, getting up in the morning and just looking out at that beautiful view uh, in the fall it's just uh, I, I look forward to doing that again this year but uh, anyway so and again when we do the bedrooms we put all the beds up against the wall and uh, so here's here's Carol's in the kids' room, and uh, so all the beds and mattresses are all piled up in this room because this is one of the rooms that, if we do get mice, they don't usually come into this room. They usually go after the kitchen and stuff, and so we like put all the mattresses and everything in here, and then we seal up this door as best we can with cloves and whatever mice don't like. Um, they don't like mint, so we spray stuff. This is our view out this door. Again, there's the the big mat. The big mansion next door. You won't be able to see that 
anytime soon when the, all the leaves actually finally come out in full. Um, this is our septic system here. We just had that installed a few years ago. Well, there you go, guys. The cottage is now officially open and it is May 16th. So we opened it on May 14th. And uh, yeah, you can access the deck from this side, the other side. These are the stairs. This is my mom's room. That's Carol's in my room. And you can just walk out there. We don't have an indoor shower. So you just can come down here. And uh, I built this for my mom. And this is our outdoor shower. And uh, it's all cleaned out, ready for use. And the best thing about this is you're having a shower and then you just look to your right and you can shower with that view. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, there you go, guys. Uh, the cottage is open, open for business. And I hope you uh, enjoyed that little tour. And uh, again, I hope you look forward to more cottage vlogs in the real new, near future, possibly Wednesday or Thursday. And Ben might be in them. We'll see. You never know. You never know. I always ask people if they want to be in it and they, they always have the choice, yes or no. So you guys have a great day. And uh, if you enjoyed this vlog, hit it with a thumbs up, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully we'll take you into town. The lighting looked bad there. Hopefully we'll do take, take you on some adventures up here in Muskoka. Have a great day, guys. Uh, hope you're staying safe. And uh, we'll see you in the next vlog.